So this is a question where there's just some basic algebra involved, but because it involves fractions and I'm just worried about making a careless mistake, I don't have answer choices, right? Uh, I'd probably just put this into Desmos. So it's not that hard to do. We just need to type this equation in there, right? So we can even type the f of x. So f of x is equal to 9 sevenths um, x plus 8 sevenths plus 8 sevenths. And I'm doing this on a keyboard now because I hate typing it on the iPad. Uh, so hopefully you have a keyboard when you take the actual test because it's so much better. But of course, this doesn't give me what I want. I want to know for what value of x does f of x equal 5. So look, the biggest thing that people are going to mess up with function notation is putting the variable or putting the number in the wrong spot. Like in a way, this is just plug points into equations. But your temptation is probably to put that 5 in for x. But no, we're going to put that 5 in for the y, basically. So if you're worried about that, let's just type it exactly as given, right? f of x equals 5 is now going to provide us with two equations on our graph, and we just need to tap them. And we can see that there is a point there where we do have the y being 5, but we have, more importantly, the x being 3. That is the answer. That's it. So again, I love to have the Desmos here just because, I mean, you, let's see. Let's do the algebra real fast. It's not terrible, but remember, you've got to plug this in for the f of x, right? So not 5 is equal to 9 sevenths x plus 8 sevenths. So right away, you're, it's, we're off to a bad start, right? We got, to multi, we got to get rid of the 7, the 8 sevenths, right? That's your habit. You could multiply everything by 7 just to clean it up a bit. I don't know. At this point, you're probably reaching for the calculator. You're doing 5 minus 8 sevenths in the calculator. Ugh, it's some messy number. I could turn it into a fraction, I guess, if you know how to do that. So, so fraction. And of course, this stupid calculator gives it to me as a mixed number. So it's three and six sevenths. Oh my God. Yeah, this is not worth your time, which is what? Uh, let's do this. I can turn it into a regular fraction. 27 sevenths equals nine sevenths x. Yeah, I should have multiplied by seven for sure. Multiply by seven ninths, multiply by seven ninths, gets rid of that. This reduces to three, so there you go. But I don't know, that seems like a lot of risk for very little reward so early in the section. This is a good example of where Desmos is better because Desmos, as long as you enter it correctly, is not gonna make any mistakes. So especially if you hate fractions, especially if you make careless algebra mistakes, get the points where you can get them. Even if it takes a little bit more time to use Desmos, it's probably worth it early on so you can lock in those points so that you don't you know, make careless mistakes and then get the hard ones wrong later on top of it.